we've had a full discussion and you've told us what, what the problems are. Firstly, as far as budgetary allocations are concerned, that's for 67 billion rupees. And the, that money, we are now worked out, come to an agreement how the finance ministry and the chief financial officer will spend it. Then comes availability of drugs. So already the minister is talking with China and we'll further ask the foreign ministry also to get involved. With India, we are virtually uh, coming to an agreement where we can access their stocks, but we'll take that up when you go to India next week. But more than that, we also have the issue of the delay as a result of the procedures that are followed now, that drugs by the FDA, you, they are also registered by UK, all get held up here. So I have asked the NMRA to uh, go ahead now and immediately approve FDA drugs and the other countries which they have agreed with the health ministry. And the health ministry will then bring amendments to the NMRA Act, which will enable them to act quickly and uh, overcome all the difficulties. Interpretation of a section is up to us if someone, and then we can in the meantime make the other amendments. So we, with that, I think we, we work part of, we work issue of the supply of drugs and payment for equipment, and we'll look at the procurement systems further, what has to be done. And we will meet in two weeks time uh, to ensure that all this is presented to cabinet and the next steps are uh, taken. Then of uh, medical personnel who have not yet been registered in the SLMC, Health Ministry SLMC and the Secretary to Prime Minister will have the necessary amendments to the regulations in the next two weeks. Kidney transplant for overseas patients are being allowed and all uh, applications for medical schools have to allow them in respect of, I think, uh, Kuliapiti Hospital must be fully equipped to the Treasury also to give priority so that Vyamba students will study at Kuliapiti and Kurunayagala becomes available for the Kurunayagala University College. We'll look at the full utilization of the KDU hospitals and we have to ensure that there should be no excuse as to delay in people getting drugs. Next issue is the personnel available. So that the ministry will report to us what has to be done. And all health facilities must be fully utilized before we go in for new facilities. We also want transparency in drugs. So all the drugs in Sri Lanka, there will be a websites uh, run by the health ministry which will say the total amount available and the amount available in each hospital which will change daily as they consume the drugs and the networking system so that even drugs can go from one hospital to another without having to go through the usual bureaucratic setup. And finally, of course, in training people, I don't think we have to, ins we have to change the regulations for nurses that even people with uh, art subjects can be taken up for training. And doctors' retirement, we've taken the position to allow them to go up to uh, 63 and also for other special cases which the ministry will mention.